Hola mis amigos, buenos días, buenas tardes, ¿qué tal estáis garrulillos y garrulillas? En principio dar las gracias a todos los suscriptores que tengo por aquí, que vamos subiendo poco a poco. Gracias también a los que no son suscriptores por ver mis vídeos, a todos ellos, a los que son y a los que no lo son. Y bueno, ha caído en mis manos pues Minecraft Story Mode. Y ya sabéis que yo en esta serie hablo muy poquito, así que vamos a ver lo que nos encontramos. Y lo que nos vamos a, a reír o a llorar, quién sabe. Así que vamos a ello y vamos a ver archivos, ¿eh? episodio 6, no sé lo que nos encontraremos. Vamos a ver. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Ahem. Uh -huh. Aha. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you it was a dumb bet. Oh, who asked you? Cut the worried faces, guys. Whatever this place throws at us, it'll be no problem. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. Oh man, I hadn't thought about that. If they followed us, they could be in trouble. Hey, maybe next time we're in the portal hall we can leave a sign or something. Tell them which one we're going through. I like that idea. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It says, invitation. And then, read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's... odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! Any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Hey, the invitation was classy, though. I don't see why they wouldn't be. The invitation and everything seems pretty legit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Petra, could you please take this seriously? This place What's is that? dangerous, and you could I really... I can't hear you over the sound of me kicking your butt!
You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall! Okay, you won that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. Ah, stick with me, guys. The heck? What? What'd you see? You just gasped. L like you'd seen something. Don't know who he was. Some creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkins. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? There. We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees. We can cut those down. Good plan. And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Wow, some kitchen. Both dogs, you know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you, for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh. What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. And this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude! Now, easy, Torque Dog. We're not the host of whatever this is. Sorry. We're just here to hide from the sea of zombies. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there. In case you hadn't noticed. No way. Be polite. No, I'm, I'm afraid we're not the ones behind this either. This is Torque Dog. Sir. And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? Captain Sparkles? Are you saying that with a Z? Yeah, I actually have no idea who you are. Oh, really? Like, no idea? Like, none? Nope, sorry, but uh, my name's Jesse, and that over there is Lucas and Petra and Ivor. Charmed. <clears throat> Jesse? That's a girl's name. 
What are you guys anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Ha! Ah, that's a good one. You you are very funny, Pork I, uh, Dog. Uh, wow. You know something? No one ever gets my sense of humor. I think I like you, Pipsqueak. Look, sorry if I was coming down harsh on you. You see, I was expecting to swoop in, score some six snackage, and bounce, you know? But, uh, well, thanks to those stupid zombies, Torque Dog's trapped here with all these losers. Worst day ever! Just try and look on the bright side. Maybe we can all work together to get through those zombies, power in numbers and all that? That's what we're trying to figure out. Just can't get everyone to work together. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, <sighs> Torque Dog is out of here! Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Well, why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from like, out of town or something? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Something <laughs> touched my foot! Who touched my foot? I think it stopped. Oh, what's up with the lights? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a, a girl's name. Torque Dog? Torque Dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Ivor! Not classy! Got it, got it. Just needed to see where we stood. That poor guy, that's so awful. Yeah, he, uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk. But that's still a nasty way to go. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere! How did that... who... One minute he's alive, the next... Gone! Poof! Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay. You're right. Woo! You're right. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Ah! Uh, who would do this? There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. This whole thing is getting creepier by the minute. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? Mm. Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Would you stop pointing that thing all over the place? You're making me nervous. Back up. What did you say that was? Uh, tipped arrows? You can, like, put different potion effects on them? I could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. But my nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay? Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Oh, really? Because I've never seen you in my life. I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> Oh, 
Well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof. You guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. Somebody's up to something. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Oh, let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said that was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah, it's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no! Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? Easy, easy, everyone. We're looking into it, and we're gonna figure it out. And I'm just supposed to trust you? Stacy, hey, they were there when Torque Dog died, too. They can help. I can't believe Talk Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. Why do you care so much about Talk Dog's stuff? I was just... I was just wondering, okay? I'm, I'm a curious person. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Well, someone brought us here for a reason. Including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh! Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hunting us? Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. Ha. <laughs> Inspiring. There you go, guys! Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie, psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Luckily, Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating, then. <clears throat> hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. Seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. 
Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have, what can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh. Gosh, um... He was a little... prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that, especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. Hey guys! Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but well, what? Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So, did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So, did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. He already had me at rare item. Of course he did. Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? What's the big deal? There's a temple 
way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? Hey, I'm just a really good guesser. I was just putting pieces together. I don't really have any idea what you're talking about. Uh, not to be cynical, but I'm not sure I believe you. But I do think I'm starting to figure out why we're all here. Everyone? Everyone? Whoever killed Torque Dog? Whoever invited us? They're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkle! Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. One of you is the treasure I desire. I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. Oh, I'm too cute to die. They killed Sparkles! They killed Sparkles! No, 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 what's going on? No, 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 no! Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on! This is awful! Terrible! Who was that guy? And there's no such thing as white oh, pumpkins! Oh, the white pumpkins hanging all over the place! Uh, uh, uh. I don't like it! I really don't... I actually saw him in the window when we first got here. You mean he's been in here the whole time? I'm so getting out of here. Ugh! So much for a nice dinner party. 